1898 in the southern Ostrobothnian village of Gordane. Alva's father was a district surveyor. His position in the community as a highly qualified expert serving the public was decisive in determining Aldo's approach to the architect's work. Aldo did not erect monuments to himself. He wanted to serve the institutions he built for and the public for whom he created household goods. He always approached things from the human point out, not from the intellectual point in. Aldo's longtime friend and biographer, Jöran Schilt, has personal experience of Aldo's relationship with his clients. Han sa att nu ska jag rita ett sånt hus att du hålls här hemma i Finland och inte alltid via det på resor. Så att på det sättet kom det här huset. but he also invented various ingenious technical devices. It is probably from him that Aldo's interest in engineering came. The forest was the work site for both his maternal grandfather, the forester, and his surveyor father. It was through them that the outdoor world, particularly the forests, came to be so important to Aldo. The forest, with its towering tree trunks, varying rock formations, and meandering ridges, is a world of constantly changing forms, unfettered by geometry. Here, Aldo found the basic patterns for his architecture. The forest also taught him that nature is a sensitive ecological system in which man must find his place. He had a hatred for plastics. And he called it drugstore architecture when people used materials like that. He was very affectionate about wood and brick and stone and copper and ceramic tile. Aldo's